viewers welcome to this video lecture series in computer networks today's topic of discussion is on error detection methods actually this particular topic error detection methods can be included in the data link layer of the osi model now in this session i shall be discussing the different error detection methods normally we have error detection and correction methods in this session i shall be discussing only the detection methods we all know that the sender sends the data to the receiver okay that means this particular host which is sending the data to the other host whatever data is sent from here okay from the sender side whether the receiver is receiving exactly the same data that is sent by the sender or not there are various error detection techniques i'll be explaining all those techniques as well so this is what i have written here the information or message is sent from the sender to the receiver sometimes the information received at the receiver is not matching what the sender has sent this is because the errors are getting introduced in into this data because of the noise during transmission that means now during transmission there is a possibility that the data gets corrupted here and let us see what changes in the data is going to happen or what change in the data can take place let us take for example this is the data that was sent from the sender side 010011 okay so what change in the data can take place that change what i am trying to tell is here this bit 0 in the data can get changed to 1 or 1 in the data can change it to 0 so now to categorize these type of errors we can say that we have single bit error multiple bit error burst error now what is the difference between these three types of errors single bit error is simply one bit is getting changed in the data that is sent from the sender side for example i'll take uh, the example for the single bit error in single bit error what happens is suppose if you are if the if the sender is sending okay this data this is sent from the sender this is the data now at the receiver side there is only one bit single bit error one bit is getting changed one is as it is but this one has become zero here the remaining bits are as it is this one bit is getting changed to zero so this is what we call it as the single bit error if you observe here the sender has sent 1100110 but the receiver has received 1000110 that means what the bit that was there at the sender side 1 got changed to 0 during transmission and if one bit is getting changed in during the transmission we call it as a single bit error we have another type of error called as the multiple bit errors in the multiple bit errors more than one bit will get i'll give you in this manner suppose if the data sent is 1100110 now at the receiver side this thing has happened what is that you are observing now that the receiver side this was the data that was sent from the sender side what is that you have observed here is this okay one got changed to 0 and here zero got changed to one so this is what we call it as multiple bit errors okay multiple bit errors that means more than one bit got changed during the transition during the transmission there is one more type of error called as the burst error in the burst error i'll give you an example for the burst error also suppose if the data sent is 1100110 okay this is the data sent then at the receiver side what has happened is consecutive bits got changed like i'll tell you at the receiver side the receiver may receive like this 1011010 let's see what has happened here in this case what has happened is this one got changed to 0 0 got changed to 1 1 0 got changed to 1 1 got changed to 0 so no doubt okay four bits got changed here but still we cannot say this type of error as multiple bit though it is more than one bit if the bits that are getting changed are consecutive then we call that particular that type of error as the burst error hope you are getting my point so this was the data and remember uh, what is that i have written this is the data from the sender okay but the receiver has received in this form here also the data at the sender but the receiver has received in this form here also the data is at the sender 
the receiver has received these are the different types of error single bit error multiple bit error and burst error we have different methods first method of error detection we call it as the single parity check now what is single parity check parity is a special bit that is getting appended to the data let me give you the scenario the sender is there the receiver is there okay the sender is sending the data this parity are also of two types even parity and odd parity now let us see what is even parity and odd parity first even parity let also at the sender side what is happening one is added as a parity bit to the data block one is added that is bit one is added as a parity bit to the data block if the data block has an odd number of ones zero is added as a parity bit to the data block if the data block has an even number of ones now this two sentences i'll be explaining you with an example but here what i have told is these two sentences belongs to what the even parity procedure and that to these two steps what i am telling is will happen at the sender side not both the steps either one of this step will happen under which situation it will happen that i'll be explaining you let me give you an example of the even parity only suppose the sender wants to send the data this is the data that the sender is sending but here i am taking a what using the even parity check already i said parity check are of two types odd parity and even parity so let us see first one example with the even parity the data that is sent from the sender is 1010111 so i am using now the even pair parity check so the sender using the even parity check let us assume this is the data what is the data 1010111 this is the data that is sent from the sender now what happens is the sender wants to send this data but the sender is using which type of parity check even parity check so in the data it is 11 one 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 that means how many times once is appearing that you need to check one two three four five in this data five times once is appearing but the sender is deciding what the even parity check so it has to make the number of ones to even that means now this five should become what six this is what i wanted to tell you the sender is appending one bit here the sender is appending one bit that one bit can either be one or it can be zero under which situation it will append 1 under which situation it will append 0 that you will be seeing here in this example so what is the example 1010111 how many times five times so even parity it has to be how much it has to be six it has to be even here and since it is a single bit parity checking okay because this parity checking itself we are using it for the single bit now this one bit is getting appended no so what we can do is now the sender what it will do is it will send the data as so the sender is sending now 10101111 and one so what the sender has done is it has appended one here so this is the parity bit what we call this one bit that got appended is the parity bit so this is how the sender is sending now at the receiver side the receiver will what it will see, it will count the number of ones yes in this case even number of ones are appearing that means ones appearing are six times and it is even number so there is no error detected here that means whatever data that the sender has sent it the receiver has received it correctly there is no error in this particular data suppose if the sender is sending a data of this sort 1010101 now the data the sender wants to send is 1010101 but it is using the even parity check so already in the data there are even number of ones then what the sender will do is it will append z because already the number of ones are even and in this case what will happen the receiver will check whether the number of ones that are appearing are even or not if it is even yes there is no error in the data this is called as the even parity check i hope now it is very clear now we'll do the other type of parity check also with an example and that is called as the odd parity check in this i have taken one example like this here randomly you can choose anything so in this the sender wishes to send 10100111 but this is what this is using the odd parity check if it is odd parity check what is that the data should have the data should have odd number of ones odd number of ones should be present in the data okay 
but here in the data we can see even number of ones so now it has to make what all the number of ones as odd if odd number of ones are present then there is no error in the data it is correct next time suppose if the sender wishes to send the data and the data is 1010001 in this case three times one is appearing that means already odd number of ones are there in the data since odd number of ones are already there in the data so the sender will append zero in this case the sender will append zero in this case and this is called as the parity bit here what is the receiver going to check the receiver will check whether odd number of ones are there yes odd number of ones are present in this case there is no error in the data odd number of ones are present in all these cases suppose even parity check i i took two possibility two cases no in i in in any of the cases like in even parity check suppose uh, if the receiver receives odd number of ones instead of even number of ones then there is an error similarly in odd parity check if the receiver receives even number of ones instead of odd number of ones then there is an error so whenever there is an error the sender will inform the receiver to retransmit the data a few more points you need to remember here is the sender and the receiver will decide okay see this is what how the receiver will come to know whether it has to carry out the odd parity check or even parity check for that this is what i wanted to tell you the sender and the receiver will decide before itself which parity check will they be using and uh, one uh, important observation for this technique for this method is this method is useful only <coughs> if one bit gets changed remember if only one bit error detection and correction are implemented either at the data link layer or at the transport layer of the osi model so to summarize you can always note like this uh, like parity checking even parity odd parity so in even parity total number of bits in the message is made even in odd parity total number of bits in the message is made odd these two sentences are enough to remember the actual logic for this particular method now this particular technique as i said is useful only if one bit is getting changed suppose if more than one bit gets changed so definitely there is a possibility that more than one bit may get changed during the transmission so what will happen if more than one bit gets changed during the transmission then what to do in that case we have an another method called as the crc method and that is the cyclic redundancy error detection method so that particular method i shall be explaining in my next session hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care